Anstey's Big Dig is part of the Charmwood Roots Project, which is a heritage project to research the history of 35 towns, villages and hamlets across Charmwood Forest. We wanted to dig in Anstey uh, for two reasons really. Firstly, we wanted to give people who live in Anstey the opportunity to take part in a real archaeological project. We wanted to try and find out a little bit more about the archaeology of Anstey. What's made you want to be involved in this project today? Um, well, I enjoyed archaeology when I was young because I like digging. Um, and I used to like finding items and then learning about them. And then when, for one of my birthdays, I got from my grandparents a gift voucher for the young archaeologists. So I joined the club and it was really fun. We've hammered in nails in a square um, so we know where we're going to dig and lift the turf off. I'm not really sure what I'm going to find, but hopefully I'll find something interesting. David, could you explain the importance of today's dig in respect of the trust work that you do? It's an excellent opportunity for the Victoria County History Trust to be seen, in, to be involved in a much wider aspect uh, than we normally see. Working today, you see us working with children, with uh, local people. As the spoil comes out, obviously what happens is, it, as you record, you record a layer. So you have to go down through quite a bit of soil, but obviously as part of that you need to check what's in, if you like, every, you know, there's an infinite number of layers, but we stop at certain points and then check by going back and just uh, uh, looking through the soil and sieving it to see if anything comes out, you know, in those previous, if you like, layers and obviously because soil is laid down at a relative rate you could work out over the time period where that deposition came depending on how many spits you go down. Okay once we got through the turf, the turf was the hardest bit wasn't it? It's, uh, right. Solid turf but we, yeah it's interesting. We've had a good morning so far, we're just uh, sifting through the first layer of the earth we've removed. We've found some small pieces of pottery amongst all the, all the brick, so we're, we're getting there. We're just uh, levelling out the first layer in our test pit and hopefully we'll find some more things this afternoon. It's nice to get involved in something different within the community. So. This is the courtyard of my house and these are the lovely people who have come to help us dig this hole here and um, it's fascinating. Lots of interesting things come out already and we're still going. We think we've, well, we've got a, a number of pieces of medieval pottery. We found three big cow's teeth as well because this used to be a dairy farm. Uh, that building there used to be the blacksmiths. The farm was built in 1767 for Mary Heard. And um, so we're down to 30 centimetres, uh, different uh, types of clay and charcoal flex, which is um, encouraging. And uh, we're now going through the clay because the sifting doesn't find everything. The most important things we found, I think, is just by breaking up the earth and the clay by hand, and then even going back and looking at things twice.
we've just got two pieces of medieval pottery from pit three, spit one. So this is the top layer. So that's not bad, two pieces of medieval pottery. One local potter's Marsden from southwest Leicestershire, dating circa 1100 circa to circa 1300 plus. We haven't really got a good end date for this ware. And the other piece, that's handmade. <clears throat> and this bit is wheel thrown, so-called purple ware. And that probably dates 1375, 1400, right through to about 1550. So it is evidence of medieval activity in the area. It's interesting because Test Pit 3 is quite outside the core of the medieval village as we know it today. So it might have been the result of manuring of the medieval fields. We really don't know yet. Who knows? Who knows? We may find a lot more. Let's hope so. We're busy washing the dirt off some of the things that people have found in their test pits um, and having to distinguish. If it's metal, we don't like this piece that my That's friend metal. has got. Um, we don't wash the metal. And we don't wash bone. We don't wash bone. But everything else like these, probably a floor tile. That's nice. What have you got? You've got a buckle. Oh. But it's metal. So we have to we have to be careful and remember what we're doing. And everything is labelled. They've all got the same labels that they were brought in with, so that afterwards the archaeologists can trace where, where this came from and develop a pattern, no doubt. But we hope across the village. My job today and for the weekend is um, to record visually all the archaeological material that we find. So anything that comes out of the ground needs to have a visual record made. And it's very much scientific illustration that you're, you're doing a drawing of every side view of a different object and um, putting as much detail in as possible. So um, it could be anything from leather work which I've been drawing this morning, uh, metal pins, possibly a blade there, little buttons. I've got some pottery on this sheet, so I'm sure there's going to be bags and bags for tomorrow when everything's been washed and comes back to from site. Since the big dig, obviously we've had to process all of the finds that we found during the weekend. And the early results coming back into the Charnwood Roots office suggest that we've got evidence of prehistoric activity right up to the modern period. So we've had little bits of Roman pottery, we've had quite a bit of medieval and post-medieval pottery. Also lots of bone, um, bits of metalwork, stuff from the industrial period, Anstey's history. So it's really exciting. As we do a little bit more processing, we'll get some more results. community digs as part of the Charnwood Roots project this year and the following year. Um, we're going to have all sorts of other activities taking place, uh, so you can keep an eye on the website which is www.charnwoodroots.org for further information about how you can get involved in this exciting project. <laughs>